Paul Wiener, quickly! You can't be late for your first day of school. You have everything. Yes, Father. Do you have your lunch? Yes, Mother. Remember, Paul Wiener, you are a princess, and you must always act like one. I know, Father. You must be on your best behavior. I will, Mother. Uh, now where are King Starfish and Princess Esther? <laughs> Morning, everyone. Right, Esther, into the carriage now. Remember now, don't give Miss Marla the kind of trouble you give me. When do I give you trouble, Father? <laughs> when don't you give me trouble? Uh, on your way, girls. Goodbye! Behave like princesses should behave. We will. <laughs> Princesses will be at school. Won't it be wonderful to be all together? I hope Miss Marla is nice. <laughs> no, Spikey, you can't come with us. Spikey, go home. Oh, let him come with us, Esther. What harm can he do? <gasps> all right, come on then. <laughs> but you'll have to stay outside while we're in school. Hello, Povina! Hello, Esther! Hello, Isa! I can't wait for school to start! See you there! Morning, Esther! Morning, Povina! Hi, Matilda! Isn't this great? Our first day of school! We're so slow! Can't we go any faster? We'll be the last at school. Ah, sure. Don't be such a pretty fish, Polvina. It's only Gummy. He won't hurt you. But he's a shark, Tularina, and I'm so afraid of sharks. <laughs> Hello, Panjo. What is it? What's the matter? <laughs> have time to play, Panjo. I don't think he wants to play. Is something wrong? He wants us to follow him. We better have a look. You can't follow that silly seahorse. It wants you to go to the coral caves. We're not allowed there. But someone might be in trouble. Go on, Panjo. Esther! Oh! Tenti, you stay here. You too, Spiky. Wait, Esther! You'll both be late for school! What will I tell Miss Marla? We won't be long! Oh. Come on, Gummy. Let's go. Slow down, Esther! <laughs> Good morning, class. Good morning, Miss Marla. Is everyone looking forward to the first day of school? Yes, Miss Marla. Now, let me see. There seems to be three princesses missing. I'm here, Miss Marla. So you are, Tuberina. But where are Polvina and Esther? Oh, they, uh, they should be here soon. I hope so. It wouldn't be very good if they missed the start of their first lesson. Oh, my! Where did all these whales come from? What are they doing here? Leia, you're the whale princess. What do they want? One of their young whales is lost, and they're calling him. And knowing whales, they won't stop until they find him. Let's get inside, girls, quick as we can. <laughs> Keep going, Panjo. We're right behind you. I don't like this place at all. Esther? Esther? Where are you? Over here. I can't see you. Where did you say? Right 
here. I thought I'd lost you, but I have lost Panjo. Over there! Now I see why Panjo was so anxious. Poor little whale. He must have lost his herd. It's all right. We're here to help. What is this? It must be a net from the dry land. We don't have anything like this down here. Why can't the people of dry land be more careful? We need help. Daffy! Spiky! They're getting very close. Too close. Stay calm, everyone. They'll soon pass by. I hope they find that little whale soon, or else there'll be nothing left of our school. When I say pull, we pull! <laughs> a nice gummy shark like Tubarina's. That's no gummy shark, not with teeth like that. Scatter, everyone! point calling for help. We're too far away for anyone to hear. Unless... Now, little whale, let's work together. Keep down, everyone. Poor Esther and Polvina. They're out there somewhere. I told them not to follow that silly seahorse. What seahorse? Tuberina, have you told me everything you know? Well, I... Look, they're leaving. Up. Miss Marla, what about Povina and Esther? We must start a search for them immediately. Not more whales! 
<laughs> Hi, everyone! I've never seen whales give anybody a ride before. Goodbye, little whale! <laughs> you make sure to stay with the big whales. <laughs> We rescued a little whale that was trapped in some netting. And there was this big shark too, but we took care of him. <gasps> shark! Oh, that was very brave of you girls, but you should have come straight to school. But, Miss Marla, someone was in trouble. We had to help. Yes, I suppose you did. Well done, girls. Thank, Thank you, Miss Marla. But we really must get some schoolwork done today. Come on, everyone, inside, please. Is that true about the shark? It is. And it was no little gummy shark. You must promise to tell me all about it. We will, Tuberina. What an exciting first day of school. And we haven't even started yet. I hope every day is as exciting as this. It will be. We'll make sure of it. <laughs> Quiet, Gummy. Shh! This way! It's all right. I know Father told you to never come into the throne room, but he's not here. Okay, you be the lookout and tell me if anyone comes. Father's pearl will make my shell display the best in class. I'm only borrowing it. Father will never know. Everyone at school will be so jealous. <laughs> Go get it, Bib! <laughs> Good morning! It's time for school! We're just finishing our game. Tuberina, catch! Oh, my display! <gasps> Got you! I'm sorry, Tuberina. So you should be. You nearly damaged my shell display. Can we have a peek? You'll have to wait and see it at school. Let's go, Gummy. Honestly, Tuberina can get so bossy at times. It's only a shell display. Bib! No! Bib! Stop! The Abysmal Kingdom is down there. You never ever want to go to the Abysmal Kingdom. It's so dark. I wonder what's down there. I don't know. And I don't want to know. We'll find you a new ball, Bib. But it will have to be after school. If we don't go now, we'll be late. See you later, Bib. Now, whose turn is it today to show their shell display? Oh, it's my turn, Miss Marla. Let's see if this is as good as Tuberina thinks it is. This is my display. I hope you all like it. <gasps> it is good. It's it's beautiful. What a wonderful piece of work. I know, Miss Marla. Well done indeed. Thank you. <laughs> I love your display, Tuberina. Where did you find your shells? That's my secret. I'm only asking. And I'm not telling. Tuberina can be such a meanie sometimes. <laughs> Everyone loved my display, Gummy. I knew they would. Oh, but we must get home quickly. We have to put the pearl back before Father returns. I have to do my shell display next week. Should I ask Tuberina for her help? I don't think she will help. She wants to be first in the class. But she's our friend. She also loves being first. Well, I can only ask and see what happens. Tuberina? Sorry, no time to talk. Where is she going in such a hurry? Do you think something's wrong? Let's find out. Bib! Bib? Did Tuberina come this 
way. <laughs> Thanks, Bib. Master Gummy! Mother will be home soon. Go, go through the rocks. We might find a shortcut. has to go down there. Wait! Tie this around you. If something happens, I can pull you up. Good idea. Here goes. Huh? Good luck. Help! Help! I only wanted everyone to like my shell display. How did this happen? Slide your arm out. <laughs> it's not moving. I thought you said it was going to be simple. I said simple. I didn't say easy. We need more help. Why is the rope doing that? What does Esther want? Maybe she's in trouble too? Looks like I have to go down there after all. <laughs> you want to come with me to help? We'll do it together. One, two, three. Do you think Polvina's coming? I hope so. Shh. Oh, don't like this place. Then why did you come down here? I can't tell you. I see them! Esther! Tuberina! Oh, she has come! Bib and Gummy, too! doing just standing here? Tuberina got herself stuck. How did you do that? Look, can we talk about it later? Everyone get around this rock and lift! Oh, got it! Oh, thank you. Are you hurt? I'm all right. And so is the pearl. Pearl? Have you put us all in danger because of a pearl? Well, I'm sorry, but it's my father's. Girls! Can we please get out of here? This place spooks me. 
Right, back to the top, everyone. Whoever called that place the Abysmal Kingdom got it right. So why did you go down there to Barina? I lost the pearl. I had to get it back because I took it from my father's scepter. <gasps> you didn't! I was only borrowing it. You were borrowing a royal jewel? Well, you must admit, it did make my display look fantastic. But what if your father finds out? Well, hopefully he won't, if I can get it home quickly. Then we'd better move fast. Great! We made it before father. Be quick, Tuberina. I will. Good evening, girls. <gasps> Good evening, father. Good, Good evening, evening, your, your highness. highness. How is your day at school? Anything uh, special happen? No, father, nothing special. Just an ordinary day, sir. Nothing unusual at all. Really? Now that's funny. What's funny, father? I met Miss Marler on my way home. She told me that you made a beautiful shell display for class. She said that? She did. She also told me it had a wonderful pearl in it. A pearl just like this one. Is there something you want to tell me? <sighs> yes, father. And where are you two going? You owe us big time for this, Tuberina. I know. I've never swept so many floors in my life. I'll make it up to you. I'll take you to where I find my shells. You can use them for your own shell display. That would be great. Thanks, Tuberina. <laughs> oh, Bib. <laughs> <laughs> I need to remind you that cleaning the courtyard is a punishment. You're not supposed to have fun. We're not having fun, Father. No fun at all. Just see that you don't. But I promise you, once we're finished this cleaning, we'll have more fun than ever. <laughs> Mother, do I have to? Just this once, Esther. But why? Whenever your grandmother comes, you always look such a mess. Please, try to look nice this time. All right, then. Your grandmother should be here soon. I'll call you when she comes. Yes, Mother. Looks like we're stuck here doing nothing, Spiky. Boop, 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 boop. Huh? Esther, open up! Polina, Tuberina! What's wrong? Leia heard the calls of a sick whale. She might need our help. We've arranged to meet her. Let's go! I can't. What did you say? I'm not supposed to do anything until my grandmother visits. But Leia needs our help. It's an emergency. What are you suggesting? That I rush out, help Leia, then get back before my grandmother comes and hope no one notices? Yeah! Okay, I can do that. Spiky, you stay here. What are we waiting for? Leia! We're here! Shh! She's listening. For what? The sick whale. This way! Are you sure this is the right way, Leia? I'm sure. But that's the Bubbles Lighthouse. I know. And we're headed towards the surface. I know that, too. But, Leia, don't you know what this means? Yes, we're going to dry land. You know we're forbidden to go to dry land. We promised Leia we'd help her. What sort of friends would we be if we stopped now? We are going to be so grounded. Come on. Right. There he is. He's stuck on the sand. Let's get to him. Stop. What's the problem? Don't you remember the most important law of Salacia? None of us should ever be seen by a drylander. And what are we about to do? 
But if we don't help the whale, he'll die. Isn't there some law that says you can go to dry land if it's an emergency? I don't know. But if there isn't a law like that, then there should be one. That's good enough for me. What do you think, Polvina? I think as long as no one sees us... Which they won't. No way. Then let's go. Be still now. You'll soon be free and back with your herd. Once the tide comes in, we should be able to push him back to deeper water. You don't have to look at me like that. It isn't so silly. Esther? I know he'll be heavy, but there are four of us. Esther, look. <gasps> what is it? It's a boy. It's a dry land boy. And he's coming this way. He'll see the whale soon. And if he sees the whale... <gasps> he'll see us! Come on! We've got to go back and keep the whale wet, or else his skin will dry out. But we can't show ourselves to a drylander. Can we wait until he goes away? If he goes away, he might bring back more drylanders. We have to do something. Someone's got to come up with a really good idea. And I might have one. Paulina, you can't just run away. She's such a goody-goody sometimes. Here's the answer. What? We throw seaweed at him? No, <laughs> silly. We use a disguise. Now what have we done? At least he's gone. Now we can get on with helping the whale. Poor whale. His skin is so dry. The boy's still here. Maybe he can help us. I'll talk to him. No one can refuse to listen to the Princess of the Shark Kingdom. To Barina. Be careful. I will. Tell him we're, um, uh, seaweedians. Boy of the dry land, step forward. We mean you no harm. Come. This is a special day for you, for today you meet the seaweedians. We are here to rescue this young whale. What say you, boy of the dry land? Zuppi Garmaldi Vinoria. What did he say? He said Zuppi Garmaldi something or other. But what does it mean? Your speech wasn't for nothing, Tuberina. The boy is staying. Do you think we could ask him to help? We can try. Can you help us, please? Help us? Zuppi Garmaldi Vinoria. Oh, forget him then. Keep working. He's coming! Good, we need all the help we can get. He does understand. Esther! Esther, your grandmother's here. <laughs> Esther? You shouldn't be sleeping at this time of the day. Come on now, it's time to see Grandmother. <gasps> Spiky? Where's Esther? Oh, that girl is going to be in very big trouble. The tide's coming in. We'll be able to push him away from the beach soon. Oh no, not that. Polina, come with me, quickly. What's she doing? I don't know. But it sounds important. Leia, what is it? I heard someone. Who? There they are. They're coming to help the young whale. <gasps> but they'll get stranded on the beach too. Can't you stop them? Stay, my friends. Stay. Stop. You have to stop. You're in danger. <laughs> Where's Leia? What's keeping her? That's 
what? Oh, we can't let those whales come to the beach. They'll get stranded too. If Leia couldn't stop them, how can we? The boy. Maybe he could help. If he can understand us. The whales, boy. We've got to stop the whales. Help us. Stop! Stay away! You're in danger! Ugoti rimici, gulari! Ugoti rimici, gulari! Ugoti rimici! You stopped them! How did you do it? It was a boy. He did it. But how long will they stay away? Not long. So we've got to get the whale off the beach now. Is the tide high enough? We'll soon find out. We all push on three. One, two, three. Push! <laughs> Starting to move in. No, stay back. Who got the remichi, Gulari? Who got the remichi, Gulari? Who got the remichi, Gulari? What can we do? We need more help. The only help around is those other whales. But they can't come any closer. We don't need them to. We'll tie up some kelp and make a rope. Good thinking. I'll tell them. Grab as much of this as you can. I hope this works. It has to work. Be ready, Leia. We're ready. One, two, three, push! Uh, oh, Leia! Uh, now! Keep pushing! Keep it going! with them to make sure the young whale is all right. Thanks for helping, all of you. Anytime, Leia. I'll see you at school. And thank the boy, too. The boy. We forgot about the boy. Thank you for your help. We couldn't have done it without you. Where is my granddaughter? You promised me I'd get to see her. Esther should be here any moment. I'm sure of it. I'm here, Mother. Esther! Grandmother! Esther, just look at you. What have you been doing? We rescued a whale stranded on a beach. A beach? A beach on dry land? It's all right, Mother. It was perfectly safe, and it was an emergency. Oh, Esther. And I'm sorry. I know you wanted me to look nice for Grandmother. Look nice? I don't want you to look nice, Esther. I want you to do just as you did and help others when they need it. Really? Now, I want you to tell me everything that happened. It sounds fascinating. I'll just go and prepare lunch. I think I've heard enough for today. Right then, my dear. Let's hear all about it. Will you promise to keep it a secret, Grandmother? A secret? You have my word on it. I love secrets. That's what I hoped you'd say. <laughs> Bye, everyone. See you tomorrow. Bye, Bye Isa. Race you home. Hold on, I forgot something. Get ready, set, go! Hey! I got my book. Let's race! Oh, they've gone. Hmm? I'm sure I saw something. There it is again!
must belong to Isa. Or to her mother, the Penguin Queen. I can't take them to Isa now. It's late. What I mean is that by the time I get to the Penguin Palace and back, it will be late. Too late. Oh, they're so beautiful. I wish they were mine. I mean, I wish I had a pair like them. I don't want these. There, I'm putting them away until I take them back to Isa. Satisfied. <laughs> I don't see what's so funny, Spiky. You saw the way she was looking at us. She wants to keep us. She'd at least want to keep me. Huh? I spy with my little eyes something beginning with B. Hmm? Penguin? How did you guess? Hey, do you mind? Manners, please. I'm sorry. What? Haven't you heard of knocking? It's very bad manners just to barge in on someone's home. But... You probably think we're talking to you. It's just a dream, sweetie. Oh. A dream? A dream now, but soon to be a nightmare. <laughs> what are you doing? You're being scary. It's more fun that way. Don't listen to him, Esther. Go back to bed and get your rest. Nighty night. A dream. Just a dream. <laughs> the laugh? It's too much, right? Way, way over the top. Hurry, Esther. Have you packed your bag yet? Yes, Mother. I'll see you later, Spiky. <laughs> oh, the earrings. <laughs> How could I forget the earrings? I had the strangest dream last night, Spiky. <sighs> I'll tell you all about it later. I gotta go. Bye! Are you sure this is the place, Isa? I'm positive. They must be here somewhere. I can't see anything. Hi! My mother lost a pair of earrings when I met her after school yesterday. I knew it was something like that. They're not here now. Maybe someone found them. Then why haven't they given them back? They might have handed them to Miss Marla. Or they might want to keep them. Keep them? That would be like stealing. That would be stealing. Definitely stealing. <gasps> stealing? But that would mean there's a thief in the school. That's impossible. What do you think, Esther? Esther? It's like I said, deep down, she wants to keep us. Find his keepers. There's nothing wrong with that. Ain't I right, Esther? It wasn't a dream. You can speak. No, we can't. But I can hear you. Oh, yeah, you can hear us. But no one else can. Because we are your conscience talking. My conscience? Yeah, like uh, the secret voice in your head that tells you right from wrong. So, why didn't you give us back? I don't want everyone to think I'm a thief. But you did want to keep us. Admit it. I guess. But only for a little while, I was always going to give you back. Ha! You should see your face right now. It's like... <laughs> I think it's more like... <laughs> Are the earrings expensive, Isa? Not really. That's good. Good? If, if they're not expensive, then losing them isn't so bad. So it's good. Kind of. It's not good at all. It isn't? My grandmother gave them to my mother, and she was going to give them to me. They're very important to my family. Oh. Good morning, class. Good morning, Miss Marla. So you still haven't told Isa? Don't sweat. No one else can hear us. We're only in your head. Remember that. So are you going to tell Isa? Oh, be quiet! Esther! Uh, not you, 
Miss Marla. Sorry. So you are trying to avoid everyone. You can run from sharks, but you can't hide from your own guilty conscience. Even if you're a princess. But you can always try. Go on, try it. I dare ya. <laughs> oh, enough of the laugh, will ya? Sorry, I'm just trying to get a bit of fun going on in here. What do I do, Spikey? I can't keep them, but if I give them back, everyone will know I took them and think I'm a thief. What's the problem? Just keep us, then no one will know anything. I wish I had never picked you up in the first place. You couldn't help yourself, we're just too irresistibly cute. I'd call it more ruggedly handsome. Okay, let's just say fabulously good looking, with really great personalities. <sighs> good night. I spy with my little eye. Something beginning with, um, P. Oh, penguin. Hey, you got it again. You are. <laughs> no, it was you. You, you. What are you arguing about now? We were playing hide and seek. But, um, we forgot who was doing a hide and who was doing a seeking. It wasn't much of a game. So, have you decided what you're gonna do with us? I've got to think. What are you doing? And I can't think with you talking all the time. You can't just get rid of us like this. Oh, yes, I can. Spoil, spoil. spoil. Spiky, you guard them. Don't let them out for any reason whatsoever. I tell you that we're not gonna find them. One more search won't hurt, Tuberina. Hi! Hi, Hi Esther! Are you still looking for the earrings? My mother is so upset at losing them. Oh, and so am I. What we should be doing is looking for the thief who's keeping them. But you don't know if there's a thief. Then why haven't we found them? Do you think there's a thief, Esther? Esther? But I'm not a thief. Am I? Not feeling so good, are you? No. Who said that? Ha <laughs> ha! Surprise! <gasps> but how? <laughs> There's that look again. That <laughs> have you thought about it yet? You're gonna have to do something. I'm going to do this. I'll lose you again. This won't work. You're gonna be sorry. Isa, have you searched for the earrings around the corner? Over there? I don't think Mother was anywhere near there. Try it. Sometimes the ocean currents can push things quite away. Oh, you're right. It might be worth a look. Thanks, Esther. Get your books ready, please. Where's Isa this morning? Here, Miss Marla. Sorry. Take your seat quickly, Isa. Did you have success? No, and I looked all around where you said. And you didn't find them? Not even one? I told you it wouldn't work. <gasps> Losing us again would be too easy. You've got to do it properly and take us back to the Penguin Queen yourself. There's no other way. <laughs> You're so annoying! Esther! <gasps> My goodness, young lady, what is wrong with you today? Sorry, Miss Marla. My book! It won't open sometimes. Bye, girl. Can't back out now. Hey, look at me. Into my eyes. You gotta return us to the Penguin Queen yourself. And be responsible for what you've done. All right, I'll take you back. Just be quiet. Hey, we won't say another word. Except for saying that we're not gonna say another word. And uh, other than that, not a word. Oh, thank you, Esther. Thank you very much. It's my pleasure, Queen Penguin. Where did you find them? When did you find them? Uh, I, um, hmm, uh, you see... That doesn't matter now, Isa. What matters is that we have them back. This deserves a reward, Esther. A reward? That's a perfect idea. No, really, I couldn't take it. Thank you, but no. Oh, all right. We respect your wishes but you still have our gratitude. These earrings have been in our family for many years. Some of our family say that they're magical. 
magical? Well, the story is that they talk to some people. Talk? But I've never heard them. Nor have I. Uh, I better get home now, your highness. Of course. Thank you again, Esther. See you at school. Bye. You did the right thing, Esther. Is everything all right, Esther? Yes, your highness. Everything's perfect. Bye. Bye, Bye.